Wico Ridge for a G I presented you already on the Mobile World Congress, as you might remember. I really love that surface and the design because it's very, very lightweight, just 121 grams at 5 inch. Nevertheless, now the final product is here and I tested the battery and the benchmarks and have some first experiences for you. So I wanted to give you some more information on this very interesting product. First of all, as you might remember, it's IPS, yes, but it's not dual domain. So let's go, uh, for example, to a picture like that one here, meaning you have not that uh, viewing angle stability in two axes, but it's kind of okay. It's not th that um, bad, like let's say on regular LCDs, TFTs or something, it's okay. Second good news is here we have a white, white background. It's very bright. I measured 478 candela per square meter or nits if you want. So 478, that's 22% above the average of all smartphones I've tested in the last 12 months. So very bright and especially compared to the price. At least in Germany, Europe, we have 229 euros without any contract, including tax. So that's kind of low. And for that, you're getting a 5 inch, uh, 4.98 inch uh, on, the, on the square here. That's 24% uh, more area for your money than usual. And even if it's just uh, 720 by 1280 pixels, making it 295 ppi, nevertheless, this pixel density for the price, again, it's 40% above the average. So for your money, you're getting a really good IPS screen, bigger than usual and um, more sharpness, more higher pixel density than usual. That's three good news in a row. And the second thing is, you might have asked, oh, if it's so thin, it's just, I measured here in most cases, 7.3 millimeters. On the edge here, 4.3, on the biggest point here around the lens, it's 8.3 millimeters. 121 grams, very small, lightweight and compact. So you're asking, oh, what the hell will be the battery runtime, especially because it's fixed. It's built in, as you can see. So the good news is it really lasts kind of long, 2,300 milliamps, but on 200 nits, I measure all my, my smartphones on 200 nits to have it comparable. It's 413 minutes video runtime full HD video. So this is 5% above the average. This is for this small and lightweight phone, a good news. Second is I wanted to show you here with the slots because I told you this is dual SIM. That's kind of right. On the first side, we have a micro SIM slot. And this one here, now we have time to move it, remove it and, and look, have a closer look. This is a combination slot, as you can see here. You can insert a micro SD officially up to 64 gigabyte. I tried out a 128 gigabyte uh, chip with, uh, by SanDisk and it worked properly, no problem at all. Or you can insert a nano SIM that way, uh, that way the micro SD or that way the nano SIM. So you have the choice between uh, um, um, memory, expandable memory or dual SIM. So it's not both. You have to decide if you prefer the one or the other. Uh, internal memory is 16 gigabyte. And if you once have updated all pre-installed apps, you will have a net memory size of 11.4 gigabyte. That's the value you should calculate with, 11.4 gigabyte. So you have to decide by yourself, is it better to have a second SIM or do I need a um, SD, micro SD card slot? Coming to the Snapdragon 410 processor, quad core, 1.2 gigahertz only, but two gigabyte of RAM. There was the question, how will that perform in the benchmarks? I'm running 12 benchmarks with over 50 uh, values I'm calculating all together. And here the uh, Vico Rich is uh, now unfortunately 34, 
34% below the average. If you compare it again to all the smartphones of the last 12 months. But if you um, say, okay, it's just, I calculate with the price, again, 229 euros, then the performance of the, of the uh, processor is 2% above the average. So, so meaning you're getting quite a good uh, CPU performance for your money. You can get better, but then you have to pay more, or you say, this is okay uh, for the things I need, and then you're getting okay uh, rate for your, for your money. Yeah, I hope I could give you a more valuable information uh, for you concerning the Vico Rich 4G. Thanks for watching and please be so kind to recommend my channel and to subscribe to it. Thanks for that in advance and take care. Bye.